This video is sponsored by your mum. <laughs> Let me just show you here how to update it. Punch in NPC updating Google, whatnot, favorite search engine, find 2.11 right about around there, enter the site, go down, pick your NPC modal of choice, minus the NPC Live 2, and here, very readily, read, readily available, you have the download. Now, I'm gonna put mine on a USB stick, so I'm gonna download the USB, USB version, because standalone is everything for me when it comes to the NPC. I think the software is... Pop that sucker on into the root directory of the USB stick and put it into your NPC, you know what I'm saying? Once you put it, your USB stick in, you'll find preferences up here, the cogwheel. It looks different because I've already updated it on this machine right about around here, but you'll find preferences up there and you'll go into this menu right here and you'll see update down in your right bottom corner. Press update and a USB drive update. It'll recognize that you have a firmware update on your USB stick and you can just install it. Let us see what we have here. We are supposedly getting a new sounds mode, new air effects, probability and ratcheting, MPC tuner, P to K. P to CAD group, <laughs> pad to key group, MIDI key splits, filtering and performance enhancements. This is nothing that really caters to something that I want, but actually, this is interesting. It is saying to me, welcome to MPC. For me, this is goodbye to MPC. I'm thinking strongly about selling this because I have the Machine Plus, which I use most of the time, the Polyan Tracker, which I'm having a blast with, the SP404 Mark II that I use occasionally and fuck around with and use it for playing back full beats live this is just overkill for me you know and i'm saying it's a brilliant machine i cannot knock it those of you who have it as your weapon of choice keep rocking you know what i'm saying but for me it just adds to the paradox of choice however i am going to check out this last update and see if it just convinces me to not go to the caribbean for that money instead goodbye npc next please connect your npc to all right let's go New plugin instruments are available. You must first download and install their content files. Oh shit, this might be something I have to do from the computer. Whatever, there's an air level war, air amp simulator, and a granulator. You can look at it another video for that. Go check out Av McGree, he has tons of videos on both the NPC One and the NPC Live. I will not be breaking down every single detail. I just want to check this update out real quick. Go into the menu, and here we see already that it looks a little bit different, especially up here, special Menta. We got a fork tuner right there. Now I don't have anything plugged into the sample in at the moment, but this will let you tune it like a fork tuner. Set your frequency right there. Now I know 440 is not in tune with the soul and the and the Babylon, you know what I'm saying? What you want is 437 or some bullshit like that if you want your beats to actually sound good and be in frequency with your soul. That's what I heard. Undo history, I think that was there before if I'm not mistaken. The MIDI monitor, monitor yeah that was there before. Edit button, this was not here before. Now we can rearrange the shortcuts. Nice little extra feature. And what we see down here is actually very welcome. Saves us a button press or two. We can make a new project, save the project, go into our project overview and preferences from there. You'll notice that preferences has gone from up here. It used to be there before. Now we find it down there instead. I want to look at this new sounds mode, which we find right there. And yeah, it's a little bit more pretty, you know what I'm saying? Going to factory expansions, the vault too, you'll see all of the kits laid out. That's annoying. I just, I don't know what you would do to just preview these without loading them. However, note that we're on drum programs right now. We can make one step back, two steps back right there and know all of the different program types and browse by them. Plug in, for example, uh, check for some bass sounds right there. Yeah, I don't know. You can probably preview these sounds. Maybe you need to download a library. Maybe you need to actually download all the plugins, the new air instruments and plugins, uh, which by the way, will also give you a lot more browsable content in here, but it surely is a nicer way of browsing through your sounds. 
going all the way back to the root of instruments here, you can also browse by the plugin. And what I think is a little bit extra cool about this update is the key ranges thing. Say you're a performer, right? You're bringing only this in your backpack, maybe a keyboard to go along with it. Granted, already it's chunky ass laptop already, but you can have a standalone device that you could do key ranges, key ranges, splits, and uh, use this as a performance module, pretty much a sound module for your sounds of choice if you're live musician let's check out what happens if we press key ranges cutters bass on track one is laid out all across the keyboard let's drag this and bass sound generally we will be good with our bottom half of the keyboard that's the range that we need let's go to track two and we have another one right there we don't have any anything assigned to it just yet <clears throat> assign that to the top half and here we can go to the old school way of browsing the presets as well get some diggy bell in there of course you can rename these and for some layer flavor let's get a third track that stretches across the whole keyboard all stranger th synth stranger synth all across it if you had a program with drums in it you could also use drum split to get drum one shots of drums on individual keyboard notes so you can have some drums over here, a little bit of bass over here, a little bit of synthesizer in the middle, and across the whole thing, just a sweet ass polka guitar. I'm happy for you guys, man. Let's load this one up for funs. I did it from in here because I don't know how to preview it from the new sounds mode. There must be a way, it's probably stupid simple. Anyway, let's make a quick drum pattern right here and show you something else. Let's go into the timing correct for the correct flavor and set the swing to like something extreme 70, I don't know, two-step garage, the shit out of this shit. Now, at this point, this happens a lot. Whether you sample the shitload of sounds from vinyl and you have a couple of sounds that are melodic, just one tone that you want to spread out across the keyboard, play it with 16 notes or whatever, make a new key group of it. It used to be a little cumbersome to go in and make a new program. We used to have to go in here, make a new keyboard program and go into the program edit and go to samples, assign that sample to this new group, and then you would have it laid out as its own unique program. That's how you had to do it. But let me show you this demonstrationalizing here, what's happening with our two-step garage kit. We have three bass notes, and you can imagine going through that whole process with these three sounds. It would just be like, oh man, I should probably make my decision right here because it's gonna take me a while. I have to jump through some loops to get the sound spread out across the case. It's a little bit different architecture than on, for example, the machine where every pad is at the same time an individual sound or an instrument. You have to deal with these different types of programs, which has its own benefits. Let's begin by picking our sound of choice. Go into program edit. And we have magic button right there on the touch screen. Amazing. It automatically assigned our new instrument program to track four. Granted, we have some fine tuning to do with the envelopes, but very quick. What I really wanted in here is a proper legato. I still think we don't have that. There's, there's no proper portamento or legato you still have to make some fucking you know work around for that it doesn't there is a portamento but it doesn't act like you would expect it to see it still re-triggers it what the fuck is it doing i know my man marcelo has made some videos about workarounds for that but just put a fucking legato mode in there how hard can it be anyways much appreciated update <laughs> Now, when it comes to sounds, they're finally taking the step that uh, most people predicted before. There are purchasable instruments for sale now. Uh, we're not going to get any more free plugins like this. Now you can get them in the shop and 
new instruments and effects, you will get a few new air effects with this update for free. Three air effects. Cool, I think that concludes it for my little tryout for this. I'm, I'm surely going to miss it. But I mean, it's just not reasonable that I would not go to the Caribbean just to, to, to keep this, you say. It's a beautiful machine still. We have a lot of comparison videos. I have a couple of them out where we discuss the pros and cons of this, why I choose the machine over the NPC or whatever. If you want to pick camps, pick sides, or if you want to be friends with me still, you know what I'm saying, shake hands on, on some manly shit, let's do that. I still love this machine. It's just I don't use the built-in speakers and the batteries quite as often as I'd imagined I would. I'm in here all the time anyways.